Hello and welcome to a new video about controls, about PLCs. Yeah? This time we're going to talk about programming a PLC. Last time I already said there are a bunch of, of standardized uh, standard languages. Yeah? And I already told you, ah, that sounds better than it is. Yeah? A bunch is five. So there are five. Yeah? Let's simply have a look one by one yeah? and I show you a little bit how they are looking like. Yeah? One of the older things uh, is the so-called instruction list. Yeah? So there's instruction list. In German it's Anweisungsliste, yeah? instruction list. This is pretty much uh, a very basic programming language, really step by step. So you really code like look at the input, load this input, make an end with this input, write the result to this output. Yeah? So it's really, really low level. Yeah? really close to the real hardware what is really happening. Yeah? There's no if. There is no if. Yeah? If you want to have an if or a compare, yeah? you have to load one value, you have to compare to another value, you have to check if the compare is bigger or smaller and jump to another position in the program on this with a conditional jump. So with much more effort than simply writing if. Yeah? Okay, this is the instruction list. The instruction list is marked as, as uh, outdated. Yeah? However, there are quite a lot of programs out there in instruction list. Yeah? And now, there is the point. There are quite a programs out there in, in, in instruction list. However, each, I'm not sure if each, but a lot of PLC manufacturers have their own interpretation of instruction list. So it's not the case that you have a Siemens PLC, for instance, use the instruction list program and copy it to a SIA PLC, simply not working. Because they're, even the commands are different. Even the commands are different. That's it with instruction list. Very basic. Yeah. A, a, a code would look like, for instance, LD, this is a command on one certain PLC type, yeah. input 1. And input 2. Okay. SD for set, output. This would be this would be the command after I told you. Yeah? Load input one, make an end with input two, and according the result, set or reset the output one to the result. Yeah? The result is not even visible, so it's yeah? it's hard to read, hard to maintain, yeah? but usually very compact code. Yeah? Then there is something. Which is really coding, I would say. Yeah, structured text. Structured text. This is a high-level program language. Yeah. Looks a little bit like Pascal, if you know Pascal, for instance, to me. So uh, it's programming as we know it. Yeah? There are commands, there are if statements. If you want to have an assignment, you don't have to load, you just write equal sign, yeah? structured text. And also structured text, text, structured text is the language which is very equal to all of the manufacturers. Yeah? So if you have a, a Benek and Rainer, if you have a Sire, if you have a Siemens, if you have a Beckhoff, I don't know, yeah, a Schneider, 
Mitsubishi and, and how they all call the all the PLC manufactured structure text seems to be really really equal on all. Yeah? You know, not on every detail, of course, yeah? because there are hardware dependencies. But this is the if you want to have it interoperability somehow, yeah? this would be the the language of choice. Yeah, structured text. It's pretty much so. This is this is a high level. High level language. Much easier to maintain, much easier to understand, much easier to read. Yeah? So for instance, a uh, uh, set yeah, would, would be value one, variable one, value one. Value two plus value three. Yeah. Plus, simply plus sign. Yeah. Okay, the equal must be double, must be column equal. Yeah. I always tend to say double point because in German it's Doppelpunkt. Yeah. And there is a if statement. Yeah. If, you can write if. Condition, whatever. Yeah. Then, now, yeah, like I said, it's not like C, it's more Pascal style. Yeah. So there are then some things, and then there is else. There are the next, next instructions. Okay, this is how this looks like, and then there is a end if. Structure text. Huh? Second possibility. Yeah? Also, like I said, this is the one where standard programming language has the best name. Yeah? Then there is something, this is called letter diagram. In German, in German, this is called contact plan. Yeah? It looks a little bit like a, like a circuit diagram. Yeah? And it also comes from this. Yeah? It also, the origin is the relays logic. Yeah? They are built in circuit diagrams. We talked about this during electrical um, controls. Yeah? So it pretty much looks like a circle diagram. Circuit diagram. However, it's tilted 90 degree. It cannot look the same, right? <laughs> so, for instance, here is the origin, what is in the circuit diagram is above, yeah? and then you have so-called coils yeah? and, and inputs looking like this. I also have to, to look a little bit because I simply did, did, did never use this. Yeah? In one, in two, out one. Okay, this is a coil. These are inputs. It's a contact, yeah? and this is an OR, of course, because it's parallel. Yeah? And this is this or not this shall output this. Yeah? So those things are mainly used. This is a graphic, yeah? graphic interpretation. Uh, for this actually nice and these are mainly used for binary controls uh? not so just one zero one uh? or as my former boss always called them clickety clack controls <laughs> letter diagram uh? I think I'm not sure if somebody is still using it yeah it was simply the case that we the, the transition between the plan based yeah, the electrical and the electronic SPS programming they shall be very bumpless let's call it yeah? and this is why this letter diagram was defined okay. 
Because if you want to calculate this ladder diagram, simply makes no sense if you have values and not just zeros and ones. Yeah, then because then you have also difficulties in showing this in a circuit diagram. Yeah, also here. Okay, ladder diagram. Huh? Next thing is function plan. function plan, also graphic, yeah? and this pretty much looks like a logic plan like we've used in a digital. Yeah? So it pretty much looks like and in one, in two, or in three, Well, that's it. Yeah. They are organized in so-called networks and each network has some logic and they executed one network after the other. Yeah. Function plan, also graphic, yeah. but this, uh, now the, the lines might have digital or binary content or if you want, there are even blocks then with add for instance, and then there is one number, then there's a second number, and then there's the sum. Yeah? So you, this can also simpler cope with numbers. Yeah? So with uh, not just zeros and ones, really with words, numbers, yeah? digits, then this one, yeah? then the letter diagram. Yeah? A lot of things are in function plan because a lot of programs because you can simply read it even if you're not able to read structured text if you're not used to read with these blocks yeah because they are graphic it's simpler to read yeah? and yeah it's more for for somebody who is not used to use programming languages this is a good choice yeah? however also here in letter diagram, function diagram, they have the same issue like instruction list. Yeah? They are not transferable to another manufacturer system yeah? because simply there is, yeah, the, the interpretation is a little bit different. Yeah? And then there's the last but not least, sequential, func sequential function chart, yeah, SFC. Sequential function chart. Honestly, I've never seen this working. Uh, if I've never seen somebody coding like this. However, it doesn't mean, you know, I come from the field of, of water power engineering. And yeah, just because I have not seen doesn't really mean the, there are a broad field of application for PLC. We talked about this. Sequential function chart. It's pretty much like uh, the graph set we've talked. Yeah? So there are steps yeah? and the transition between the steps and each step can have commands and wait times and so on. Yeah? And it pretty much also looks like yeah, there is a start. Yeah? Then there's a transition from start, there's a step, and the step has uh, commands and so on, there's the next transition and so on. Yeah? Sequential flowchart basically looks like this, this graph set we've talked about it. So these are the five standardized languages. Yeah? Instruction list, basic, marked as outdated, structured list, real programming language. These are alphanumeric. Huh? Alphanumeric. Ah, you can read it, right? <laughs> alphanumeric, it, it shall mean alphanumeric. Huh? And these here are graphical. it this way like graphical see now oh, it's better 
These are the possibilities of programming this. Okay. Yeah, well, that's it about PLCs, what you hear, what we're going to hear from me. Uh, and also, this will end now the video series about non-feedback controls. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next thing we're going to talk about is, is a measurement technique. Uh, this would then be next step, let's call it. Uh, yeah, for this time, for this series of videos, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.